Good afternoon and welcome along wherever you are, as usual, here on Radio Hereford FC. Live FA Cup action today. The Bulls versus Cambridge City, live from Edgar Street. Let's go through the Hereford team then with George. Yes, Frank. So for Hereford today, in goal number one, Curtis Pond. Number two, Aaron Skinner. Number three, Adam Livingston. Number four, Oro Tashira. Jordan Lydon is number five. Paul Downing in the heart of defence is number six. Yusufu Sise is number seven. Number eight, Alex Babos. Number 20 and returning, Lasana Mendes. Number 15 and coming in for his debut for Hereford, Ethan Fremantle. And uh, number 28, Carl Hawkins. On the bench for Hereford today, we have uh, number 11, Jordan Cranston. Number 12, Shea Sterry. Uh, number 15, jo uh, Jack Tolley. Number 18, Connor Stanley. Number 19, Sonny Singh. 22, Adam Rooney, and 24, Kobe Arthur. For the visitors today, Cambridge City, we have in goal number one, Joe Welch. Uh, number two, Patrick Stazuski. Number three, Jake Battersby. Four, Liam Chadwick. Number five, Richard Black. Number six, Taylor Parr. Joseph Hood is number seven. Scott Bridges is number eight. Number nine, Bradley Rolt. Ten, Stefan Broccoli. And number 11, Daniel Cotton. On the bench for the visitors is number 12, Lewis Darlington. Number 14, Michael Davis. 15, Stanley Leach. 16, Bruce Sinonis. Number 17, Ryan Ingrey. Number 18, Ed Tassel. And number 19, Seth O'Neill. Referee blows the whistle and Tashira knocks it to Babos. We are underway here at Edgar Street. It's uh, played over to Cissé. Livingston returning to the side today, replacing... Jordan Cranston at left back coming forward with the ball in Cambridge City's half finds Skinner Skinner now looking for the cross Cissé's there in the box he manages to get it oh a little back heel from Cissé there clever improvisation there from the left winger it was a whipped cross in by Skinner there Hawkins to Downing Downing pings it up towards Cissé and finds him brilliantly just outside the box now Stasiewski for company Gets past the Stufsky. Babos there on the edge of the box. Ooh, challenge there from number 10, Broccoli. But, uh, so it's Babos and Livingston standing over it. A few players in the box for Hereford. Cissé, Fremantle and Mendes waiting there. If there was to be a ricochet, it's Babos. Babos with the free kick and it's in! Brilliant free kick from the former Banbury United man. Into the bottom, well, middle part of the uh, goal net there. Past goalkeeper Joe Welch for Cambridge City and he makes it Hereford FC 1 Cambridge City nil with 13 minutes gone here Frank yeah 13th minute goal the goal time around about the uh, 13 and a half minute more but, uh, very very good goal from Bobo Bradley Rolt now looking to find a response Cambridge City finds uh, Battersby Battersby crosses in towards the box Cambridge City win themselves a corner as the ball is whipped in for Cambridge City Curtis Pong comes misses his punch Daniel Cotton pings it in this time Cissé there at the near post to clear Babos controls it and finds Cissé well he's just driving past the halfway line skips past number three Battersby Stasiewski though is there to clear taking the ball out and Cissé has had a bright start to life here at Edgar Street it's played forward now towards Fremantle the debutant Black misses his header Fremantle can take it down and find Babos just outside the Cambridge box skips past Hood finds Fremantle Fremantle turns looks to bend it in the top right hand corner but over the bar throws to Bridges the captain back to Stasiewski up to Rolt through though to Hawkins and uh, safely back to oh safely back I say to Pond Hawkins showed the goalkeeper short there Cissé now with the ball Stasiewski for company but he manages to beat the right back he can drive now into space decides to cut back and find Fremantle Fremantle manages to get past Black Fremantle inside the box Fremantle turns he goes to shoot and it's deflected over and hits the bar <laughs> yeah. Skinner now with Mendes inside the Cambridge half oh a good through ball from Mendes finds Fremantle Cissé's in the box Cissé now with the ball, looking to find Livingston. Livingston match, latches onto this. Fremantle's in the box, crosses in towards Fremantle. Babos is there to pick up the pieces. Off the line by Parr. Back to Mendes. Skinner there. Skinner cuts back, crosses in towards Livingston. Parr there to head away. Chadwick as well. Out now with Broccoli. Hereford now with the ball. 
Livingston loses it though. Broccoli can pick up the pieces. He finds. Oh, it's good save by Ponne. He found Daniel Cotton nearly See. nestling into the bottom left hand corner. Oh, the kiss of, <laughs> kiss of death. <laughs> to Mendes. A little one two with Babos. Mendes has a little bit of space to drive into. Babos now is on the edge of the box. Mendes has found him. To Livingston now. Cisse just inside the box. Tazuski for company. Cisse oh, shoots! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! From the former Kidderminster man, Yusufa Cisse. What a strike from the number seven. He was found inside the box. The winger tried his luck and tried his luck and fired it into the top right hand corner Hereford FC 2 Cambridge City nil. Frank what about that goal I do apologize I couldn't help myself but shout when that one went in I mean he just struck that I thought it was gonna hit the angle and come back out to be quite honest and it just curled in so here we go for the second half thank you Frank so we're underway here at Acre Street for the second 45 with Cambridge City in possession at the start of it. Michael Davis whips it in towards Park. Downing jostles with him. Park gets the better of Downing. Plays it back to Cotton. Bridges with another ball into the box. Up high. Curtis Pong comes. Back to Michael Davis. Davis shoots all oh, just over the bar from the number 14. Coley squares up Hawkins just outside the box. Gets past the Hereford centre half. Chops inside. Plays in Rolt. Rolt shoots over the bar. Goes down the number seven there inside the box under a challenge from a City defender, but the referee deems it not a foul. It's not, oh, as Babos tries to slip in Fremantle there. Cambridge City do well to get rid of the ball. Michael Davis can only clear as far as Mendes, though. Mendes comes back, he's driving in towards the box. Babos just outside, it shoots. Falls to Fremantle from the defence. Oh, and it's wide, but the referee's assistant flag is up. So it's, I believe, Babos with the corner, an in-swinger towards Downing. Hawkins is there, cleared by Cambridge City, and then by Daniel Cotton towards Samuel Leach. Oh, and Stefan Bracoli nicks in front of Tashira. Tashira's chasing back. He finds Leach. Leach can shoot, and Leach's shot is saved by Curtis Pond. Yeah. Mendes will pick up that roll at Leiden. Hawkins switches play towards the substitute. Tolly he gets the better of number 14 there, Michael Davis. He's coming in towards the box there, takes it past Parr, shoots and scores! Brilliantly taken past Taylor Parr there, the substitute Jack Tolley slots it into the Cambridge City net to make it Hereford FC 3, Cambridge City nil. Yeah, from the moment he picked that ball up, he knew he had one thing on his mind, he saw the space open up in front of him, got it back onto his from his right foot onto his left foot inside his man and then just slotted it inside the post no trouble at all trying to find a consolation Cambridge City but the ball is given away by the midfield man Babos is carrying the ball he plays in Fremantle but Jack Tolley's there to pick up the pieces and shoots but the leg of Joe Welch denies the substitute back with Connor Stanley Stanley to Tashira. Tashira just outside the box plays it to Stanley Stanley followed by Black. Connor Stanley to Tashira. Tashira to Livingston. Livingston inside the box. Livingston in towards the box and it's knocked in by Ethan Fremantle. Oh, what a lovely work goal. Oh, offside. It's given, oh, offside. It, I was just about to say, tapped in for a goal on his debut, but Fremantle. He's got Sinonis for company. Fights off the substitute though. He has Arthur for company, fails to find him though, cut out by Chadwick as the full-time whistle blows here at Edgar Street. Three goals today for Hereford, a fantastic free kick from Babos earlier in the first half, got the goal scoring underway for the balls with a fantastic free kick. Cisse with what is perhaps an even better strike on 40 minutes to make it 2-0 to Hereford before Jack Tolley came on in the second half to make it 3-0 to Hereford FC and that's the way the final score ended.